Hey there, Chef Shelly here. I am a personal chef and I help passionate home cooks start their own successful personal chef business so they can get paid for their passion, cooking, without having to spend tons and tons of money on culinary school or doing catering every weekend at nights. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I have two kids and if you know anything about kids at all, you know that they love some movies, specifically Disney and DreamWorks type movies. So I have to admit that I have seen, I was going to say a fair amount, which is probably more true. I've seen every movie and not just once, but over and over and over and over. And my biggest gratitude that I had that I have two boys so that I didn't have to survive the frozen let it go phenomena of 2013 because all that singing might have killed me. So I have two boys and when they were little they were more into like Cars, Madagascar, Toy Story, and Kung Fu Panda. And it's interesting that after you watch a movie for the 500th time, how you start to really see it in a different way that more speaks to your life. So specifically in Kung Fu Panda, it's interesting to see Poe, the lead character's journey, and how it parallels a chef's. Bear with me. So in the beginning, he's a guy who just loves Kung Fu. He's not good at it. <laughs> He tries, but he's just not great. And he reveres these kung fu greats, Tigris, Viper, etc., who are the masters. But he has this huge passion and enthusiasm. It's kind of like when we love cooking. We're learning and making mistakes and getting better. And we look up to these masters who have been doing it for decades and decades. So Poe's journey is that he's chosen to join them and he's not a master. He doesn't have decades of experience and they're not sure about him. And some of them really judge Poe and they aren't very kind because you know how these Disney type movies are. You know how they can be. But Poe doesn't care. He just loves Kung Fu with the passion of a thousand fiery suns. And it's kind of like how we love food and cooking. And through trial and error and a lot of hard work and a mentor, Poe actually becomes a master himself and defeats his greatest enemy. Now, isn't that how we learn to? We cook all the time and we better ourselves and have the opportunity to become a professional personal chef or get paid to do what we love. In essence, mastering and working to master our craft. And it all comes from our passion, overcoming our occasional or frequent recipe failures, learning, growing, and constant enthusiasm for the cooking. So I found it super interesting, and you might too, that through everything, all the obstacles, it was his passion and enthusiasm that took him from being a guy who loved Kung Fu to a master. And that is exactly the same thing it takes to go from being a passionate amateur home cook to a professional personal chef. Your passion, enthusiasm, and just moving forward. It doesn't mean that you don't make mistakes or doubt yourself or fall down. It means when you do, because you will, you fix it, pat yourself on the back, get back up and move forward. And it's because you love it. Because cooking and improving your skills is where your passion is. If you're just that passionate about cooking and you want to go from being a home cook to being a personal chef, 
You can get my free guide right below and it walks you through step by step preparing a weekly meal service like a personal chef. And it'll give you a really good taste of what it's like to do personal chef work and you can see if it's a good fit for you and for your cooking passion. Because I'm telling you, the clients are out there and they are hungry for what you're cooking.